So in today's virtual safari we're going to do something different. I'm sure you all would have seen that epic clash between those two feline warriors, the Nkoveni female and the Three Rivers female, that we posted a couple of days ago. We're going to use this as an opportunity to delve into the reasons as to why such an epic encounter would happen. We'll give those hardy dogs. Firstly, let's highlight Londolozi's habitat, terrain, vegetation all creating the perfect crucible for leopard populations to thrive and flourish. So yes, there's an exceptionally high population of leopards around Londolozi, as well as I'm sure there is elsewhere. But through the habituation process, the terrain of vegetation, and the high densities of leopard, whatever leopard sightings we do have are pretty spectacular. But it's the very success that fuels their population growth that also sparks a whole new set of trials and tribulations. Competition for prime real estate escalates. Confrontations with rivals becomes a lot more frequent. And the tragedy of lost litters becomes more of a reality. So if we now take the bigger picture and break it all down, with a very high population of leopards, the Nkoveni female being a remarkable mother is facing a bit of a dilemma where she's just raised two daughters to independence, and that is the stone drift female and the Shinkova female. And now that they're busy trying to establish themselves and find a territory, a mother would normally cede some of her territory to those two newly independent offspring. The Nkoveni females now just had two more cubs, and so she now is wanting to expand her territory so it makes moving south and southwest for the Nkoveni female probably the most appealing because the rival in that direction is the Three Rivers female who has got an epic story herself, but she is significantly smaller than the Nkoveni female. So that would probably be the expected direction for her to expand her territory and encroach onto the Three Rivers female's territory. With all of this in mind though, it begs a couple of questions because the Nkoveni female is still raising her cubs. They're vulnerable to threats such as other leopards. Why would she want to expand into a rival's territory? Surely she would want to wait for those cubs to be a little bit older and chances of their survival to be a little bit higher before she begins this encroachment. Anyways, we can't answer those questions. We can just go with what's happened. So one morning at the start of the game drive, a couple of the rangers found the Nkoveni female and the Three Rivers female together, showing a lot of signs of aggression towards each other. But leopards are conflict averse, so a lot of the displays are to try and deter the rival so that they don't have to get into a physical confrontation because with that, any injury could essentially result in their inability to catch any food and therefore possible death. So after some time, the rangers then heard some squirrels alarming not too far away and went to investigate and managed to find the Nkoveni female's two cubs with a carcass up in a tree. However, the Nkoveni female's efforts to lead the Three Rivers female away were pretty fruitless and the Three Rivers female ran up into the tree and sadly, one of the cubs fell victim to her aggression. A pretty aggressive encounter ensued. The two of them stayed together for the rest of the day. The Nkoveni female probably trying to lead the three rivers female away, hoping that her second cub was still safe. At this point, none of the rangers actually knew exactly where the cub was, or if it was still alive, if it was safe. It all then settled, both females went their different ways, and it was five days later that Taylor then found the Nkoveni female leading her remaining cub, which was still alive, to another carcass that was also encroaching into the Three Rivers female's territory. So nervously we enjoyed the sighting, it was great to see the leopard and the cub. We were thinking through the back of our minds, what if the Three Rivers female turns up? So that sighting was left that night and the following morning 
Upon arriving at the site, they found the Three Rivers female up in the tree feeding on the carcass. One of the other rangers driving through the area found the Nkoveni female about 800 meters apart. Looking a little bit agitated, constantly contact calling, looking for her cub. And throughout that morning, with both of the leopards then vocalizing, the Three Rivers female took up the challenge and started walking straight towards where the Nkoveni female was. So after some time, the territorial displays escalated and neither of the females wanted to back down. Eventually it just escalated into the mother of all battles between these two feline warriors and it was pretty intense. <laughs> Eventually, after a few serious altercations, the Three Rivers female was just doing her best to show any signs of submission because any movement that she did, the Nkoveni female would just attack. It's quite, a, quite an intense sighting. The rangers then left the area with the Three Rivers female body lying limp, lifeless, and it was believed that she may not even make it out of this one. So the guys then left, followed the Nkoveni female as she led away, and she then appeared to be going straight back to where her carcass was. And as she arrived there, she was contact calling. It seems as though she was looking for her last cub but there was no response. So she went up into the tree, began to feed her a little bit. So we felt probably best to leave her and go and see what was happening with the Three Rivers female, expecting to drive in there and find a limp, lifeless body. And in fact, her having come to her devices and passed on. But as we drove in, the Three Rivers female's head was up. She was looking around, there was blood everywhere, but there was life in her eyes. And upon closer inspection, it appears as though the injuries were just superficial. There was a lot of blood, but on a leopard's neck and around her head, there's a lot of loose skin. And that's probably was what resulted in her not having any fatal injuries. And we then left her feeling very confident that she was going to make it. And so now in retrospect, what you'll find is because the Nkoveni female is much bigger, stronger, more dominant, she was just driving home her authority over the Three Rivers female, who probably felt that there was no way that she could win the fight. Energy levels were drained, and her best way to survive, or her best way out of this, was to either pretend to be dead, fake death, or just lie there in complete submission, hoping that eventually the Nkoveni female's aggression would subside and she would move on. And that's exactly what happened. So when the rangers left, although she was lifeless and lying there, and not moving at all, it was probably just her attempt to deter the Nkoveni female. And it seemed to work. The Nkoveni female moved on, but sadly, with all of this that's unfolded, it doesn't seem likely that that cub would have survived. And we'll just have to see, fingers crossed, that hopefully we find the cub at some point, but it's not looking too promising. And so overall, my analysis was, at the outset, both leopards felt that they were evenly matched. Although the Three Rivers female is significantly smaller, her aggression and uh, everything led to her then wanting to take on the Nkoveni female, who in fact was in her territory. The Nkoveni female, with her motherly instincts kicking in and 
possibly a bit of revenge after having lost one of her cubs. I don't know. This is obviously just anthropomorphizing a little bit. We can't help but do that. So it's pretty clear that the Incoveni female's dominance is superior. She will probably then end up taking part of the Three Rivers female's territory. We're not too sure exactly what will happen, what will unfold in the future. But at the end of the day, this was an in incredible encounter. One that's going to go down in the annals of Londolosi's history for years and years to come. And we'll always look back and reflect on this as the aggression and uh, protective nature of a mother leopard. And she'll go to every length just to try and protect her cubs and drive home her authority so that her future generations will be safe. And by breaking this all down, it's through incredibly high populations of leopards at Londolosi and a, a perfect terrain and vegetation for these leopards to thrive that these confrontations are likely to happen. So it's not all down and out for either of these leopards. Yes, it's sad that the Incoveni females lost some cubs, but that's the nature out here. That's how wildlife works. That's how nature works. And I'm sure the Incoveni female will be able to move on and have some more cubs going forward. And it's these clashes or battles between these leopards that is vital for the gene pools to stay strong and for these populations to thrive. And although this is a pretty tough encounter to watch and witness, it's the reality, it's part of nature, it's how things happen out in the bush, it's the circle of life. And we're not celebrating it, we're just merely amused by how it all unfolds and it's just raw nature at its finest.